I'm Ibram X. Kendi, and I direct the Boston University Center for Anti-Racist Research. Excited to be announcing The Emancipator, which is a periodical that will marry the best of, of scholarship and the best of journalism to really comment on and report on and analyze and, and find the truth about the racial problems of our time. I'm Bina Venkatraman, and I'm the Boston Globe's editorial page editor. The Emancipator aims to resurrect and reimagine anti-slavery publications in the 19th century for the 21st century and the movement to achieve racial justice. Today, we are in African, the African Meeting House uh, in, in downtown Boston, which is quite possibly the, the citadel of of anti-slavery activity in the United States. So this is really a hallowed space for the movement for freedom. That call for freedom has, has continued to echo since the American Revolution. And, and I think that call for freedom will continue to echo in the Emancipator. Boston has such a rich and storied tradition with newspapers. Of course, the Boston Globe is part of that, but also part of that are the anti-slavery newspapers that were based here in the 19th century and that helped bring about abolition of slavery in the United States. I'm excited even about the title of, of our periodical, The Emancipator, which is, which is named after the first anti-slavery periodical that was founded in 1820. To be part of that line of history uh, and newspaper tradition is just an important opportunity and I think a really important thing for the Boston Globe to be part of uh, in this era. Even when the Emancipator was first founded in 1820, it was, it was very difficult for people to believe that slavery, 45 years later, would, would, would be no more. Just as I think there are many people today who can't imagine that there could be a nation without racism and inequality. To imagine that society, we need to enrich our debates, enrich our conversations. And so I think this is an opportunity for journalists to be engaged in something historic, to be part of forging a conversation on racial justice and anti-racism today uh, in a way that's really exciting. I'm Kimberly Atkins, and I'm lead columnist for The Emancipator. I'm also the author of the newsletter for the project, which is called Unbound. That name comes from one of the first issues of one of the first abolitionist newspapers that was published out of Boston, and I think it's a perfect thing to call the newsletter. You know, I think now is the perfect time to have a venture like this. For the last year, we have seen protests and people crying out for racial justice, and a lot of times that focus is on criminal justice reform and not on all the other areas where justice is needed. And I think the Emancipator is a perfect vessel to really examine all of these systems where anti-racist solutions are needed to address these inequities. In the 19th century, it was anti-slavery and abolitionist periodicals that were at the center of that push for liberty. And in many ways, we want the emancipator uh, to, to, to be at the center of that push in the 21st century for equality. So this nation can truly uh, live up to those ideals of, of liberty and, and equality for all. People know that opinion journalism provokes controversy or that it provokes conversation or that it even provokes uh, anger or outrage. But to me, great opinion journalism also provokes progress, and I think that's what the opportunity here is to do, is to do what those great uh, abolitionist writers and editors and thinkers did in the 19th century today, which is to say, uh, we're gonna provoke progress through a platform for opinion journalism grounded in evidence, grounded in scholarship, and grounded in data, but to really move forward those conversations and debates in a way that provokes progress on racial justice.